Espresso JX Pro. So it's it's kind of really sad. I mean, it's not it's not that I want to say goodbye to this grinder. There's absolutely nothing that that I was dissatisfied about. I mean, maybe you know having you know to to, to set um, how coarse or fine I wanted to grind it. Um, you know, I, they have models with an. Uh, an external ring at this point. No, I, I was so proud of being an owner and now as I have a, a roasting shop and general uh, coffee accessories shop, um, I was like, yeah, I want to be able to sell this. So I, I got in touch with their wholesale department at Easy Press and they were grateful, you know, that uh, I was featuring it in the videos. Uh, but they would like to know about my roastery and shop. Little did I know that the response would then be just just negative. You know, like, you know, uh, you, we're primarily focusing on selling through Amazon in Belgium. So we're not seeking other distributors. <laughs> Can you believe this? You want to sell for someone something? Like, no, you just, you're not, you're not good enough. Um, so I, I, you know, I just responded like, this is really a pity, you know, I, I, I now have to send, uh, send, no, um, find another grinder provider because I really, even if I, who knows, maybe we'll only sell one grinder in a year, I still want to offer it on my shop, let's say. Um, so, you know, we appreciate um, your interest in selling our grinders and your enthusiasm, but, you know, they're focusing on their current sales channels, which makes it difficult to extend a business-to-business -business discount or additional distribution agreements. I mean, I'm not looking for a big distribution agreement. I just want to buy two or three with, you know, uh, a business-to-business -business discount so that you can sell it at the same price. I mean, what am I going to buy from Amazon and then sell it at a higher price? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but they do end that their decision is part of our overall strategy. I'm not ruling out different possibilities in the future. Uh, so uh, let's see. Maybe you can help convince them that just selecting Amazon isn't the brightest idea either. Well, are you when you're buying on Amazon, do you get advice from uh, from their coffee experts? Of course, there's experts, coffee experts everywhere. I'm not saying they don't have any coffee experts, but my buying experiences on Amazon is looking at the reviews, not on somebody from Amazon reaching out to me or anything like this. If you want a more personal context, um, so this is this is this is my shop basically, and uh, you see, this is just what I kind of want to offer is the, the things I believe in. I like making my coffee with the Hario equipment. They gave me the business to business discount, so I can offer it at the same price as you find it anywhere else um, and having of course filters the the chocolate brewing that featured in 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 the video a recent video a very nice alternative to your coffee brew especially in the afternoons and now also available on my shop an easy presso grinder this one that's why it's an oip episode uh, because well it's 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 available here i've put it on the market um, at 166 euros, I'm not saying you won't find anything cheaper on Amazon, but this this one has lifts. It 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 carries a story, uh, and I guess a few uh, YouTube episodes with it. And basically, I'm 166 without VAT. So this is in theory. I bought this before I had a business, so in theory I would be able to just sell it. But mm, let's not take any risk. Um, I'm trying to do everything on the on the good side, let's say. Uh, so it ends up somewhere around just 200 euros, including the VAT, and you get a story. Um, and then I get to uh, go and look for another grinder. But uh, let's just say goodbye to this one. 
by uh, at least grinding uh, just a few a few beans more and uh, it's you know this is this is this you can do everything with it uh, espresso filter there's I really don't have any complaints except for their wholesale department and the coffee of course if you're at my shop don't forget to add a bag especially if I need to ship it the way that shipping works I've also now discovered is you can do the shipping at the um, the most uh, um, suitable um, VAT level which at this point is still 6% on coffee but on something like this equipment it's 21 it's all very confusing starting a business thanks for helping me out and uh, looking at the shop for something that you are interested in of course uh, this episode is uh, uh, airing on the uh, 1st of November so it's so kind of a weekend of remembering not only your grinders but also the people you've lost this year or in recent years so have a cup of coffee together with your family and friends and remember all your loved ones thanks for following this episode and hope to see you in a next one